Hey guys, this is John with the Alpha Channel Update here in Los Angeles for Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. And I am here to tell you guys about 26 hours of awesome science fiction fantasy audiobooks here on YouTube. Legacy of Mad Scientist, Legend of Ashley Fox. Comic book for you as a PDF in the description. Ashley Fox, The Last Valkyrie. Ashley rescues a bunch of kids from being pizzagated here in the future of Los Angeles. And do this first today. Wildwood Tarot. Here's the box. Here's the book. Here's the card. Ace of Bows, the breath of life. I guess because this can feed a family with a one afternoon's work. Love these cards. I've threatened you with sync. I've promised Johnny the homicidal maniac. And eventually we're going to do Tomb Raider. But before then, well, maybe after that, we'll do Aeon Flux. But before any of that, we're going to do zero. I am nothing. I have 18 of these. Some of them more than once. This one's autographed. So we're going to be on zero for a while. Like great. Great was only nine books, but if I'd only done... These are in color, so you get less, but you get more. I really like this. Oh, you're going to love this. The story starts on the back of the cover. This is an image comic. With Robert Kirkman as the chief operating officer. I didn't look up. Ailes not. Oh, no. Ailes Cot. Ailes Scott? I think that's maybe a uh, pseudonym. This is a story about an assassin who is telling stories. So the whole story is in flashback. So you know he survives. But these two guys who are fighting each other are superhero soldiers. An Israeli Captain America and a Hamas Iron Man. And then this guy is CIA Zero, and he is chasing them. His job is to get back the technology in the chest of the guy in the balaclava who is fighting for Hamas. The bald guy is an Israeli Zionist trying to steal this Palestinian's land because <laughs> that's what's going on. <clears throat> they believe that the Bible is a deed to these people's land and it's not and they just bulldozed it and they murdered a whole bunch of people and they're committing genocide and what they're doing is evil and everything they're doing is ontologically evil so anything you do to oppose them is good including reading a comic book for YouTube. So this guy is, uh, these guys are having a fight to the death. And it's the CIA guy who is also on some level super powered, it seems like. It's his job to, uh, I have to skip a page here because for one, it's uh, showing a little bit more than YouTube is comfortable with. And for two, it helps me with copyright since there are no ads in this book. We're just going to show the violence. And there's a reason for that. I believe in violence. I believe violence is the only real true peacekeeping thing in the world. And that what Israel is doing in Gaza can't be stopped, but it's wrong, it's evil, and they know it. And America knows it. 
and no one's going to do anything to stop them. I'm not going to go murder a bunch of people in a synagogue to, because thinking that's going to stop what Israel is doing in Gaza. It wouldn't. I'm going to make fun of them from the comfort of my own home. And then show up this CIA agent who murders an Israeli agent that he could have saved. He murdered him because he's evil. He murdered him because it was the right thing to do. But he also did have to uh, steal this Iron Man tech. Let me show where this is. See, this guy has... He's like Crank, like Jason Statham in Crank. He has a super-powered heart. And it's this CIA agent's job to get it. And here he is ripping it out of his chest, leaving a gaping hole. And the countdown is for a tank that he rigged that blows up to cover his escape. And there's not one ad, there's not one spare piece, there's not one spare page. It, there's not one spare a bit of anything. Every bit of this comic is used up for this assassin story and it was great it was awesome i believe in violence and uh i believe in violence because i've never had to use it myself and despite being in the marine corps and despite being shot at i've never had to kill anyone i've been shot at as a civilian i've been in violent conflicts without having to resort to violence to actually beat anyone up to get my way and that's, that's the whole bit about winning the war without firing a shot. It can be done. I've done it. It's easy. You just have to be capable and willing. And the other guy has to know that you're going to go a lot further once you start. The last time I was into anything was one of my brothers attacked me. And I let him pin me and pin my arm instead of... I was laughing at him the whole time. It's like Tyler Durden in Fight Club. So no, there was no real threat because he does, he practices jujitsu and he didn't want to hurt me. He just wanted to show off. So I tapped and he had to let me go. <laughs> to this day, he's still mad about it. I think he probably wishes he dislocated my arm. But I had a knife on my belt and a beer bottle in my hand and I would have had to use either of those. So if you can get out of a situation without having to do that, you're better off for it. But zero... Zero, uh, I guess what's her name, the Karen in charge of the Secret Service had to resign. And now they're threatening to make uh, Obama Harris's VP. I have to admit, there's some people in Vegas who like the sound of that. That could, that, that could give a Trump a run for his money. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if they'll do that. It'll be funny, but tomorrow we've got Sierra number two. And I kind of want to know what's going to happen. This is, I'm excited about this. I bought these a while ago. I bought these a while ago wondering if I'd ever read them. But uh, my writing is going really well. I've already got tonight's writing done. So I'm, I'm hours ahead. It means I get to draw. Probably should work out. I have a confession to make. I haven't been working out in a while. I went through, here's, here's, so I've decided to keep my drama to myself on this channel. I'm not going to tell you guys about all the little dramas I go through, but I can talk about it after it's over. So the past couple weeks have been pretty rough for me. I went through a period of like, because of some mix up, mix up, because my bank account was overdrawn. My bank held a check, a paper check. And they held it for like a week and I had no money. I had enough gas in the car, but literally no money for food. I was on, <laughs> I was on canned goods, fruit mostly. And uh, in the fridge, the syrup is so good. So sometimes, look, sometimes you gotta go through shit. I didn't have to sell any of my boards. I didn't have to go pawn anything. I didn't have any bills that had come due. So I just wrote it out. I just wrote it out. Jamie Thomas was homeless for a while. I've never had to do that. And you know what? As an artist, that's kind of a hard thing to do because I've got a lot of art supplies and shit. 
fucking be retarded, they'd all have to go. All those guys had was a skateboard. So, uh, yeah. But I'm committed to doing this comic book thing. I'm really happy with the way the story is going. I'm writing a little bit each day. What I consider to be four pages, maybe about 1,500 words. A page is about 2,500 words. So, what is th six pages is 1,500 words. I'm maybe doing 1,000. But that's good. That's good. That's, it's solid right now. It, the, really what I'm doing is I'm writing down a story that I've known for four years or more. A lot of it's already been written longhand, and now I'm just writing out chapters. What would make a good comic book? What I feel like would be a good bit to give an artist with nothing else and let them completely take it on their own with no attachment. I'm writing with no attachment which is a lot different than writing a book. Writing a book, every sentence has to be perfect because I was so attached. This, I can write it and let it go and know that the story's done and that it's at least shared with one other person. So uh, that's the other good thing is having someone reading it. So I know this is getting read every day, which is, which is good. Um, I've never had that before, but I'm also, I'm, I know all the story rules and I'm breaking all the story rules. In some cases, the characters are making choices. Sometimes their choices have consequences. Sometimes you don't know what the consequences are until you get the next, the next chapter. And that's the way it goes. Most books that you have read or that are famous were serialized. Milton's Paradise Lost was serialized. It came out as chapters in a magazine and he got a lot of feedback as it was going that colored and dictated the end. So I have these alpha channel ideals, there's seven of them, and I haven't always been able to remember all seven. Let's see if I can go through them all right now. One, when you sit down to do any artwork, do it with a clear conscience, whether it's skating, drawing, writing, sit, like be at least not suicidal in self-hate and self-loathing. Don't be completely drunk. Uh, I don't believe that writers do their best. I don't drink, so for me that's not a problem, but I do drink water. Um, drink water? Are you kidding? No, uh, being fucked up, you're not doing your best work. And so I've been able to hold this story in my head for a long time, and now I'm, I have it from beginning to end, and I'm, I'm putting it down the way a comic book series might go. I don't know how many issues it's going to be. I'm trying to do it in as few as possible, knowing that the novel or the movie or the TV show could be expanded. But, uh, so the seven Alpha Channel ideas. One, have a clear conscience. Two, love the work. Love doing the work. Love whether it's writing or skating. Right now I've got a rolled ankle, so I haven't been, I haven't been as active as I may have led y'all to believe. And part of that was me going through my own little trauma and drama and not wanting to let on to it. Um, I found that when I'm going through like bullshit, whether you're, I'm sick or whether uh, I have no money or whether I've done something wrong and I need to find a way to make it right, it's best to sort of not make bigger missteps. So. I try to limit what I have going on. And so the last couple of weeks I've been I've been kind of contracting a little bit. I need to get more active, but I've been writing and that's been really really good. And so third one, love what you're doing. Three, uh, how do I phrase this? Well, the simple way. Oh, number yeah, this is the important one. Use virtues as values. So when looking for inspiration, use virtues as values. Uh, go to those first. Producing stuff for, for other people, they generally appreciate positive, uplifting stories. And if you don't know what you're going to tell, that's a good default. The next best default is nature as inspiration. That's number four. Five is I think I'm missing one, but we'll find out. Never, ever, ever do propaganda. Not for your own side, 
Uh, certainly you're not going to do propaganda for the other side, but you can do propaganda to shame the other side. And that's, let it happen naturally. Let the story happen naturally. I'm not judging this story yet about an Israeli and a Hamas super soldier and their CIA handlers. Uh, their handlers are the bit I skipped, but the agent, their agent in the field, Jason Bourne, is the main character. Uh, he's the guy who cut the Iron Man bit out of the other dude's chest. So it's five ideals and it should be at six. Propaganda, don't use propaganda, should be six. Seven is your destination is your, or where you look is where you go. Your destination is your destiny. Um, alpha channel ideals. This is worth doing right. So I'm not going to forget this again. One, sit down with a clear conscience. Two, love the work and love doing the work. Three, find a way to do the work with no money. That's the one I left out. And I am not using fancy script writing software. I'm not using, I do use Photoshop. Um, I'm, I mostly am drawing with pencil. I don't have it. I don't have a clip studio license yet. I want one, but I also want to learn how to ink with ink. I want to learn how to color with watercolor and ink with colored pens. Three is no money. Four, uh, virtues is values. Five, go to nature for inspiration. Six, never do propaganda. Seven, where you look is where you land. Destination is destiny. So direction is destiny. Direction is destination. All those sort of... What you deliver is the most important part, obviously. You can change it up until the point you deliver it. But if you deliver hate, then that's what the people are going to get. Now, I come on here and say that violence is the answer, but I'm not delivering hate. Violence has been the answer since you were a child. Violence is still the answer for adults. Saying otherwise is just denying nature. So I'm not going to come on here and lie to you. That's the one thing I did say. You always get the truth here. Violence is the final solution. Let's hope we don't get it here. Let's hope that the, the fights that we're having here are being fought in other countries. Let it remain that way for now. You don't want to bring this home. All right, see you guys tomorrow.